all welcome to my channel we have discussed so many amazing collab features but one thing can be really frustrating for beginners that when you start working in collab you get so many untitled files piling up in your google drive or maybe in the recent tab here you can see here if i search for untitled i have these many untitled notebooks here initially i used to get confused with uh, all these untitled files until i discovered how to handle this thing plus there are so many files with the same name untitled 0 and title 0 and one more issue was there even though i have deleted this file from my drive then to this file is visible in the recent tab and if i open this file here it actually opens up the file which is there in the trash it shows a pop-up that notebook has been moved to trash do you want to recover it or do you want to return to collaboratory so in a way this feature is good that if you have accidentally deleted a file you can always take out that file from the trash but there is a problem with this feature that sometimes we want to do some rough work and we get so many untitled files piling up in the recent tab and it becomes difficult to find out which file is useful and which you have already deleted. For example, when I try to answer some of the Stack Overflow queries, I just create a Colab notebook quickly and try to reproduce the code to experiment with the code and possibly write the answer for that query. For such tasks, I really don't want to open Anaconda and wait for Jupyter to launch. But I I really don't want to see so many untitled files piling up here so I'm telling you one cool feature of Colab and it's really an amazing trip which will save uh, you from a lot of frustration of looking at these untitled files and then probably managing these files when you open Colab by writing colab.research.google.com you see that the URL is colab.research.google.com notebooks intro IPNB and maybe recent equal to true if recent equal to true it will show you recent files and you can always edit the URL from here. So if you uh, remove recent equal to true, it is basically opening up the introduction to Colab file, which is a tutorial by Google Colab. So what we can do is we can change this URL little bit to create a new scratch pad in our browser. So it will be a file which will not be showing up in your Google Drive. You can work in this file and if you are willing, you can save this file to Google Drive. For that, what you need to do is you just need to replace this intro with empty. So when you write empty.ipynb here, this URL will create a scratch pad. Let's see how this is done. You see that you cannot rename this file, but you can work in this file as you work in Google Colab. You can do some code, some experimentation. And finally, if you want to save this file, you can quickly copy this file to your Google Drive if you want to. And obviously there are the options to save the file in drive here as well and saving a copy in github also you can download this as python file or ipython notebook so it's really a wonderful feature so I would suggest you next time instead of creating so many untitled files use this quick tip by replacing the URL here if you want to know more about some amazing collab tips please check out my playlist link given above thank you for watching